All right, guys, welcome to a little quick episode uh, called Cheap Guitar Rack. Um, this is going to be one of those Captain Obvious projects. Most of you probably know how to do it already. We're going to bring some fun into it. We're going to uh, go on some head trip, I mean road trip to get the wood. You know how I am. It, it can't be simple. But I'm going to show you a way to get away from the $35 guitar racks you got sitting around the house that the dog is knocking over and everybody's complaining about. So we're going to build a rack and we're going to put our guitars up on it. You're going to see it functional at the end. Uh, we're going to have a little fun along the way. But again, this is really practical stuff that you can build using tools you probably have around or that you can steal from your <laughs> friend. So let's hit the bench. All right, guys, we're outside, we're at home now. I've got my sawhorses set up and I kind of want to show you what we did. We've got two boards here adjacent from each other. You saw me removing them um, and a couple problems with them for using them for what we're going to use them. First off, when I cut the ends, you're going to get this color here. That's going to stick out like a sore thumb. And then you've got all kinds of cracks like here um, to take care of and you got to stabilize those so the first thing I did was cut off uh, both ends here and then I took our trusty friend tight bond and squirted it down in here on both sides and tried to stabilize that as much as I could and then of course once you've got that done you're going to want to take clamps like this and clamp the edges down let it dry overnight yeah so when it's morning first thing you want to do is take your clamps off and then let's switch these around and we'll figure out what I did again I'm ill prepared for this episode but we'll swap these around it's gonna be a fairly short episode so that's all right now if you look here where I put the tight bond you can see uh, that it's stabilized. Um, there's some tight bond running out of there. You can see where it's yellow. I can just pop that off like so. And then the ends, I didn't want those sticking out like a sore thumb. So I used our friend the Chubby Cheeks, Shabby Cheap uh, Antiquing Glaze. Yeah, uh, high dollar axle grease or something. But once it dries, it doesn't get on your clothes. Anyway, then I coated the whole thing with Ultra Cover Matte Clear. I think I got this at Ace Hardware. Matte Clear. I don't want this looking rustic and then putting a shine on it. And so now what I've done is I found the center of the board because I'm going to be placing my hanger strategically. First thing I need to know is where's the center. I'm going to need to line that up with a stud on a wall and then and put my hangers in here like that but anyway this is the prep of the board so cut the ends off stain them make sure that your cracks are stabilized and then coat it but not too shiny all right we're back inside the workshop everything is done in terms of stable stabilizing the board that we're going to put our um our holders on and um the first thing i want to point out is again I've found the center of this and I'm gonna put some glasses on so I can see what I'm doing but I want to 
find the center of the board this way. We've already found it this way. I want to find the center of the board this way. That's going to come in handy because we're going to have to mount this on a wall. So we're at about 140 millimeters or 5 and 67, 500 eighths of an inch right there. So you know what I think. I just take my election pencil, 140, that means 70. right there so I'm gonna make a mark right there that's gonna be the center now I am also going to go down about four inches from the end and yeah I'm talking about inches after I make the four inch mark again I'm gonna find my 70 see I float right between the metric system and the English system like at will it's almost like I'm a, a major league pitcher that can throw both ways I'm kind of really that awesome so four inches on both sides you can't see this side but come on I don't get enough hits to move the camera that many times even though I'm gonna bump it right here so what do you know we're perfect right there so I'm coming in off I know where the center is this way and this way and then I'm four inches off of the end now why do I want to be four inches off the end well because a headstock I don't want the headstock to be sticking off the end of the board so I want it to be hey look at this one I'm building this one up right now you're going to see this in another episode this is laminate I just got some boards that I liked and put them together it's going to turn out nice and we're going to figure out how to stain this in an episode that's really going to freak you out coming up pretty soon but anyway when this lays on here I want to make sure that I'm not overlapping the end of the board so you get the idea okay you caught me reaching in front of the camera I'm taking this blue painters tape it's the best stuff ever and I'm putting it where my center of the board this way marks are and also I've got it marked off over here um, where I need to be at four inches because what's going to happen here now is I'm going to mount this to the wall and I need to know where to drill into the wall we'll talk about what tools you need to do that um, just at the end of this uh, when we're ready to go into the house to hang it but anyway now I'm going to show you possibly the coolest thing you've ever seen in your whole life besides me so you know the typical wall hanger for guitar comes on a block of wood it's got this fancy foam thing and you turn it and it's got two holes and it's got some screws and it falls out of the wall and it's about 15 bucks and um, yeah it's half the price of a stand but I want to show you something, the coolest thing you've ever seen look at this you know what this is it's got two holes Check this out. This opens up like this. Can you see that? It closes up a little bit. So if you had like a cigar box guitar with a uh, without the headstock, it would fit. If you had a big wide guitar, a bass or something, it would fit. Look at that. Fully adjustable. And you know what? You know what this cost? I got 10 of them to the door, 10 of them for $16, and it included, included the wall mounts. Are you kidding me? So the idea here is we're just going to put them there like that. We're going to put one down four inches off the end, one down four inches off the end, and then we're going to measure the difference between four inches off the end and the center it's I don't know what to do with you guys yeah I'm gonna do it it's 600 millimeters so we would go to 30 or 300 millimeters or 300 centimeters and put another one there so we're gonna have one two three four five yeah I completed second grade okay watch me close because I'm just as cool that's about the middle of that you see where those are that's about the middle of that 
I found the middle of the board this way and this way. So I'm going to put this here, right here, and I've set this mini square here, like so, and then I take it around the other side. Oh, well, what do you know? It's measured up perfect. So I know that it needs to be there and there. Now I'm going to take this because I know it's there and there. And I'm going to make me a little line right where the center is here and here. And then I'm going to set this here. And I am going to take a drill because those pivot out of the way. And I'm going to mount five of these on here just like that. Okay, the holes are drilled. You saw me doing that. Now look at the awesome hardware that comes with this. Again, 10 of these, $16. That's $1.60 a piece delivered to your house. There's foam, there's... I mean, Mr. Safety would give these a 10. But look, look at the quality of this. All these screws are ready to go. Long enough. Perfect size. I should use those, right? No, I'm not going to use those. You know why? I'm going to use these. You know why? Hey, deck screw hater. Yeah, right. So why don't you and metric hater go back to drowning in your Shirley Temple or whatever drink you're on right there to drown your sorrows. I'm going to put this in here like this. Take this drill and go like so. All right, check this out. In the amount of time it takes Bob Log the third to compose someone a birthday song, I have a five port station, whoever, whatever unit you want to call it. I'm not sure how hanging guitars translates to the metric system, but oh, there's a problem. It's too small for this neck. Let me see here. Oh. It's too big for this neck. Well, what do you know? It just, it's the Goldilocks brand. It's just right. Check. All right, check this out. Is this cool? And forget that it came from the canned heat house. Just forget about that part. That's just awesome in itself. Um, but check this out. A dollar sixty each. I've got like a couple of Mountain Dews into this, really. Um, so when we go into the house. We're going to mount this to the wall. So there's a couple things we're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is to give me a like. Because this is just too awesome. I can't even believe it myself. The epitome of smart and economical. Give me a like. Metric hater and Dax screw hater. Come on, both of you team up. Give me two dislikes this time. Go ahead, set the record. Give me a like. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. But when we get in the house... You need a tape measure if you don't have a Paul Miro tape measure. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe if you write me a nice note and tell me how wonderful I am, I might send you a sticker. Um, you are going to need a level. You don't want this hanging on the wall all cockeyed. You are going to need a countersink tool. You do not want the heads, the tapered heads of your deck screw. That's right. We're going to use deck screws to mount this sticking out so you're, you're going to want to taper that hole where it goes in through the wood you're going to need a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than your deck screw and you're going to need a screwdriver you notice i have two the last thing you're going to need is a way to make sure that this is mounted to the wall now there are things in the walls called studs they run axially or vertically um, and you're going to want to find those to mount this the last thing you want is all your guitars crashing to the ground uh, and costing you a bunch of money because saving money is not really saving money if all your guitars are on the ground. So they got this thing called a stud finder. You see this? You push this button, you put, run it against the wall, across the wall, the surface of the wall, and you start off by pushing. You'll see a green button come on. Can you see the green button come on? There it is. Now when you find a stud, the, the red light will come on because there's an arrow right here. Oh yeah! stud material okay let's go to the house all right i have found the studs using the infamous stud finder and you saw how well that works and 
I've put up the shelf. What's on the shelf? Of course, every smart accessorizer has the Bob Log, the third throw pillow, and do not covet the only green Camacho box that's ever been made. And oh, there's a blue side. Oh, ho, ho, it's magic, you know. All right, back to reality. I have taken and drilled a hole in the middle of the board uh, where it will balance this way. And before I put the screw in to start it, remember I countersunk the hole. So I am going to put this right there in the middle, like so. And I can tell from my mark that I will just take my deck screw, my long deck screw, and run it in just like that. Now, I will take my handy level and I will make sure that everything is perfect and put one more, two more, three more, four more, five more holes in this and then we'll have a look at my product. All right guys, I like the way this turned out but um, see there's a joke amongst us that understand it and that's like we're never going to have another guitar to hang up this week um, and so yeah my postings on social media I would have really liked to have this one signed by C6 Steve. Um, so you see there's blue tape up here. So there's another rack. Remember I got two boards, so that should have been an indicator to you. Uh, but the first guitar I ever built was played and um, signed by C6 Steve. So I got to get that one hung up um, while we're here. I'm gonna give you a link below. Steve, uh, C6 Steve, Hubcap Music, great album. I'll give you a link below. You're gonna want to get that. Um, Hey, look, remember the episode, Electric Washboard? I'll give you a link up there where the eye is. You're going to want to, we're going to want to hang this one up. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to need a place to hang this one. Um, look for this one in an upcoming episode called um, Dummy's Guide to Cheap Arch Tops. Um, just got this one in. We're going to go through... Uh, what to do when they're missing bridges and when the neck is cut loose, but that one's not that bad. So anyway, had a good time with this project. Easy money. Get the links below. I'm going to give you the links to the hangers, the really um, economical hangers, and um, I got a couple funny episodes coming up. So look for them. Don't forget to give me. A like and a subscribe and I don't think there was anything from metric hater to hate in this one. Yeah, there was plenty um, That's a cubit, right? See you next time